Welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 8th of November through to Sunday the 14th of November 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Scorpios let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. Now Scorpios whilst I was meditating for your weekly reading I received the channel message that this is a time uh, this week for you to relax okay relax it feels as if many thank you oh look at that love <laughs> yeah relax universal love is all around you but let me come back to that card and finish off uh, the channeled message that was given to me uh, whilst meditating so i feel your your guides were coming in um letting me know that this is a week for you to just relax now many of you have either made a change or you're going to make a change from something or a situation that didn't suit you you've outgrown it basically and it's going to take a lot of strength or it took a lot of strength okay I almost feel that I'm picking up two different kind of energies of Scorpios some that have already gone through this and some that are still to go through but you're mirroring each other um the good news is whatever whatever change this is whether you've gone through it already or you're about to go through it already relax relax because there is absolute celebration uh celebration is coming in this week okay um with regards to a love situation Either you spoke up about something, I mean, I'm just looking at that love card there, either you spoke up about something or you're going to speak up about something, but the key thing is the two of you want to be together, the two of you want to celebrate this connection, the two of you want to get to know each other, so whatever it is that is not suiting you right now that you have outgrown you're being guided to know that it's a going to take a lot of strength uh, to move out of that situation or it's taken a lot of strength for you to move out of that situation whatever the scenario is there's celebration coming in um at um, for this week okay uh, with the love card here um, this is I love this card actually because it's got so many different meanings this is love for self this is divine spirit universe your higher self coming in saying that they are surrounding you with a lot of love the pink representing universal love but also if this is I mean this is a love reading so whoever you are connecting with is almost as if love is all around you you love them they love you uh, you are certainly applying self-love uh, coming out of a situation that you have absolutely outgrown um, and I feel that whoever you are connecting with they're on the same page as you it almost feels as if you're both absolutely dancing uh, with love love for each other love for self but also universal love surrounding both of you and that's what's really really beautiful with that I love with this card anyway there's just yeah just love it let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning message to the question how does the soulmate of Scorpio sun moon rising and Venus thank you and the oh look magic <laughs> And I love this card as well. Uh, this is your uh, uh, almost like your spirit guides coming in with a gift. OK, they are gifting you. So uh, notice this mermaid here uh, and notice uh, the wings. OK, uh, major transformation, major transformation. If you guys have been through kind of choppy waters, look at that. It's all calming. It's all calming down because you guys have made um, a move or you're going to make a move move some sort of change that is going to basically transform your situation transform your life and I feel that your spirit team are coming in this mermaid merman representing almost like a wizard almost like uh, magic as if by magic this gift that's been bestowed upon you um, is being given to you as if by magic 
everything is going to transform with those wings. Everything is going to change. Um, and I feel that what that is doing is bringing in this celebration that I saw in your channeled message. Wow. How beautiful is that? Oh, kind of wishing that I was a Scorpio. <laughs> but anyway, let's, oh, and the fun, oh yes, beautiful. And look at that, it almost looks like the gift with that crystal ball that you are receiving. Um, it's showing you that you have got a beautiful, relaxing, um, almost calm future. So whoever you are connecting with, uh, I feel that both of you are in alignment, you're on the same page, and you are both moving forward. And you know something, it really does feel as if um, it really does feel as if whoever you are connecting with, um, either you've gone on this journey together, all right, or there may have been a point where you weren't quite sure if you were in alignment with each other. That's all changing as if just by magic. It almost feels as if the two of you, whatever situation that you are in, you outgrew grew it. So whether you were, uh, you're in a relationship, um, and you, somebody was hesitant or resistant to move things to the next level, that didn't suit one of you. Now it's not suiting both of you. So as if just by magic, um, it's all going to change because the, the situation of, I don't know, um, I don't know, just being in a relationship, um, maybe living in separate locations, that doesn't suit both of you now. It almost feels as if you're moving up to that next level, either moving in together, maybe um, uh, planning, um, planning to get married, planning to make this almost kind of scream and shout to everybody, this is us, this is us, we are a couple, we are moving forward into our future. Um, relaxed <laughs> yeah because of course it's relaxed relaxed came out it almost feels as if whatever it is um scorpios that you had known or you got an inkling um that you know something wasn't serving you and the person that you're connecting with or maybe even you okay because your person could have been out of alignment uh, it wasn't serving you and that change needed to happen and as if just by magic uh that change is just happening Happening. And you are finally now moving forward um, into the future uh, with the knowledge that there is absolute love around you, love for self, divine love, universal love, and the person that you're with, the person that, that is the object of your affections, uh, love from them as well. A really, really beautiful, beautiful crowning message uh, coming in. No wonder they're saying you've got a lot to celebrate, um, Scorpios, right? That's that's pretty awesome. All right, okay. Uh, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom messages are saying. Okay. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question? How does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards them in love? Ooh, two cards here. Okay, so the first card is yeah, look at that. Where you need to be, acknowledge how you are feeling. <coughs> have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible possible outcome for all involved so let me read that again because i was kind of coughing and choking at the same time so acknowledge how you are feeling have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved so you are where you need to be now many of you with the blue coming in here this is representing the throat chakra you may have um known for a long time that a situation between between you and the person that you're connected with, um, you guys had outgrown it. And it feels like many of you perhaps may have expressed it, um, but it was like there was nothing that could be done about it. And you're being guided to acknowledge that, but have faith that the universe will take care of everything. Um, that is the universal love that's around you. 
okay it's like it's like there was no point talking about it it was kind of like you kind of accepted okay this is where we're at at the moment let's just keep moving forward but at this time i feel while you are being guided to go into that um state of almost relaxation uh, scorpios almost to take a breath to say I almost want to say to give thanks because it almost feels as if you are finally, finally moving into the future um, that you, you've you aspired to, you've dreamt of, and it's where you want to be with your person, okay? There might be a, a current concern, okay? Um, so that tells me there could be a bit of delay, but don't worry, don't worry. As if by magic, it feels like it just like that, just like that, it's just going to turn around. Um, and it's saying here, uh, the best possible... Um, uh, so as you uh, trust in divine spirit universe, knowing that that universal love is around you, uh, that the best possible outcome uh, will come, come from whatever it is that is concerning you at this time. And a bonus card. Oh, look at that. A drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths. Didn't I just say to you, didn't I just say, Scorpio, whilst you are going through this, this is the time now. You're finally moving forward and take a deep breath and just relax. Look at what it says. Take a deep, take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. Oh my days. I really, really, really feel that this week, whatever it is that you're, is concerning you, it feels like it's a little pebble. It's like it's a little drop in the ocean. Okay. It, it, it's, and do you know something, whatever it is that you've been aspiring to, knowing that um, you didn't fit a situation or you and your relationship were, had, had outgrown a particular stage, it was slow. It's taken a long time uh, to move from a, a situation that you've wanted to change for a long time. But it feels like um, it feels like you're being guided to know you are exactly where you need to be right now. A, a drift in shallow waters. Um, it's almost like uh, the tide, the tide of this universal love, um, universal uh, divine spirit universe and that universal love. Uh, Carrying you, basically, carrying you uh, to the finish line. Carrying you to the finish line because it's been so slow. So slow, <laughs> you know. So this is a time to literally uh, relax, take that deep breath, reconnect, um, find that peace within yourself. You've done it. You've done it. You're moving forward. And it almost feels that last little push just leave it to divine spirit universe okay just 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 go with the flow now go with the flow because you're in shallow water you're you're literally you're literally at the end um of of the line of whatever it is that you had outgrown you're you're there you're literally there you you could literally touch it feel it taste it whatever it is it's going to be different for each of you but that future that you aspire to that you've wanted that you kind of knew do you know what um this is not suiting us right now um it's there you've got it you've got it all right and that's why the channeled message was telling me their celebration. And that's what I mean. Your channeled message was so straight to the point. It's like, basically, there has been a challenge or there has been a situation that Scorpio has outgrown. Um, they're either going to change it or it's going, they've already changed it. It took a lot of strength or it's going to take a lot of strength, but they are there. They're going to be celebrating it now. And literally, that is what your cards are saying. And it's going to happen literally as if just by magic. So be prepared, you know, uh, Scorpios. Something might quick just come in and it just like transform a situation. You may not even be um, adrift in the shallow water for too much longer. You might think things are going really, really slowly. But guess what? You are where you need to be. And you know what? Uh, divine spirit universe might just pick up that pace so get ready for it because that gift is coming in it's coming in okay all 
right, Scorpios, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Scorpios, but also as well, it enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Scorpios, it does help to support the channel. So thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And um, I really hope that you all get something useful out of this um, uh, this week's message. Okay, let's go ahead and um, get into your cards. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 8th of November through to Sunday the 14th of November 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greatest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Do you know something? They're telling me you might actually physically get something this week. You may actually physically be given something in your hands that is going to, 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 to like put you on that track to go forward. And it feels like that gift that you're going to be given in your hand is what is going to open up the future for you. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Okay. All right. Mmm, okay, Scorpios. That, that really just jumped on me, that message. That really jumped on me. Um, as if just by magic. That really dropped in my spirit real strongly. Okay, all right, uh, Scorpios, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle whilst I was meditating for this reading, uh, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me, how does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you and thank you. Okay, so, oh, okay, so we've got justice in reverse. So many of you could be dealing with um, a Libra, okay, or you could have Libra in your chart. So um, I almost feel as if um, there's, a there's been a delay or your person feels that there's a delay in something. Um, this could be to do with uh, contracts, um, either... Um, uh, a marriage proposal um, or there's some sort of um, dispute or dishonesty. Let me see. The next card is, okay. Oh, okay. So it feels like they're going to be quite angry about it. And this is your energy. Okay, there's something that's coming in that's going to be um, some sort of dispute. Uh, the justice card is to do with like legal stuff. So either... Um, I mean, you could be married to this person. There could be some sort of dispute. But if this is papers or contract or legal something, there could be something that isn't quite right. And it feels like um, the person that you are connecting with, they're, they're going to speak their truth about. They're going to say something. They're going to say something quite cutting or quite blunt. Possibly to you. Let me continue. But as you see, notice your this energy, whether you are male or female, you're going to stay, you're going to continue staying grounded and relaxed. It's almost like you're just going to take it in your stride. But it feels like they're going to be quite upset, quite angry. Mm, let's have a look. 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you now don't forget remember uh this could have already happened or it's going to happen because i remember i was saying that i picked up two sets of energies that some have already uh, made the change and some are still to make this change or move or whatever it is. But you're like, you're just taking it in your stride. You're just like, okay, you know what? We're over the worst of it. Okay, so you, you, okay. So look at that. The swords is all about communication. And we said um, that this blue is representing um, uh, uh, speaking, throat chakra. You see very, very clearly um, that you guys are where you need to be. I feel that you are acknowledging, okay? Uh, look, one, two, three swords. So there's a bit of, there's a real bit, a, a, a bit, bit, bit of disappointment going on here. OK, um, and you're waiting. OK, you're waiting to say something at the right time to acknowledge how this person is feeling. And it almost feels as if you see that the only way to deal with this is to bring some sort of calm. To bring some sort of re relaxation, it almost feels as if you're going to say to this person, Do you know what, uh, we are where we need to be right now. Don't stress. Don't worry. Let's just just take our time. But do you know something? Uh, I feel as if you guys are waiting. It feels like there's been a delay of some sort. So either the delay has already happened or it um, is going to happen. But I still stand by my word as if by magic, something's going to just change just like that. But it feels like it's created a bit of a like, like a bit of tension between the two of you. And it's to do with it's affecting your future. Uh, or, or whatever this delay is, it's affecting you moving forward to the future that you guys have been working towards or what you want or what they want. Let's get some clarifiers. But you're waiting. It's like you're waiting for your ships to come in. It almost feels as if you've already like handed this off, Scorpios, to Divine Spirit Universe. So you see that something needs to be spoken about. You don't quite know how to say it. Or what to say, but you know that you need to say something. And it almost feels as if you're just going to hold your peace. You're going to stay really calm, really grounded. Um, and it feels like you will nurture the situation. It's like you almost will say, do you know what? We are where we, we, are where we need to be. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. But I feel that your spirit team is coming in as if just by magic is just going to turn around. So that's why I say be prepared. Because it almost feels as if you're going to cut. It's like... You know everything is going to be okay, but you're just going to take your time because there's been some sort of delay um, or there's going to be some sort of delay. But it almost feels as if Divine Spirit Universe is going to come in and just say, okay, we're, we're just moving on now. We're just moving on. Um, and that's where you're, yeah, yeah, you're waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for that turnaround to happen. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit, thank you. Oh, wow. OK, so with the seven of uh, swords in reverse, notice the four swords that uh, this person is carrying. Uh, that's some sort of healing, healing over uh, basically resting the monkey mind. So whoever you're connecting with, it almost feels as if they're pissed. Right. They're upset, but they're just trying to hold it down right now. They're upset over a delay that's coming or a delay that's already happened. But what's really interesting with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords right way up um, represents secrets. OK, however, uh, in it reverse, it's almost as if this person is kind of accepting the challenge. They're trying to rest their monkey mind, not think about it too much. And it almost feels it's your grounding energy that is going to help them with that. Thank you. Yeah, this person feels really, really unbalanced, really unsettled over whatever delay or whatever corruption or something to do with the paperwork is not right or dishonest or something. They're going to feel really, but they're pissed. OK, look at the amount of swords that are coming out. This, this is pissed. And I feel like this person is absolutely going to, it's like they're going to want to really throw their toys out of the pram, but they won't because you're going to ground them. 
And that's why your channel's message was saying it's going to take every bit of strength and courage for this move uh, to happen. Um, but you're being guided to relax through it, breathe through it, know that absolutely divine spirit universe is around you. You're surrounded by a lot of love at the moment, but it's like you're acknowledging how you feel and i feel that you're being guided to acknowledge how they feel and you can see that you can see it clearly but you don't quite know what to say because you don't want to really fuel it if that makes sense and look at that yeah communication there is some sort of communication that's going to come in this week that is going to put some sort of delay on something um or something is going to be discovered in some kind of legal documents and that's going to be communicated in and that hence why your person is going to almost like say something really cutting, really blunt, really angry with the um, three of um, the three of one. See, you're waiting in hope. It feels as if your person um, is almost kind of like there's a delay on this. It's, it's almost like um, an obstacle, disappointment, delays over whatever communication is going to come in. Thank you. And then we've got the chariot in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. Um, I feel that this is um, either the two of you are in distant, uh, different locations or you actually could be going to a different location. Um, but at the moment, uh, whenever this, this communication comes in around a whatever is delaying whatever uh, is delaying or corrupt or not right in some sort of legal paperwork or something. Um, it feels as if um, it feels as if uh, it's going to put the two of you out of a little bit out of uh, out of sorts with each other because you're going to be very very calm and collective, and they're going to be like, no, you know, this is just ridiculous. You know, that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. But with the chariot in, um, mm, the chariot in reverse is all around, um, all around uh, them doubting. OK, um, you might, you might even, I mean, it feels like you're going to feel the anger of this person. You're going to feel their anger. And that is why um, you know that, you need to say something, you need to acknowledge how they're feeling, but not fuel it because it feels like you're going to be just as pissed, basically. But it feels like you're now doubting and you and I feel that you're being guided. Don't, don't. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage. Trust Divine Spirit Universe has got your backs on this, whatever this is going on over here. But it feels like your person is almost going to feel it like really quite aggressively, like really pissed off aggression self-doubt they may even like you know kind of lose the plot they might just fucking freak out ah oh, look at that here you go you're the peacemaker look at that temperance patience whoever you're connecting with these two cups i feel that this is your ultimate soulmate uh your twin flame it almost feels as if you are the person that can calm them down that's why you're being guided with that channeled message to relax breathe relax relax it's going to take a bit of strength because something's going to twist up on its head but i feel as if by magic something is going to turn around also could be dealing with um, uh, Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius. Yeah, look at that. Uh, with the star card, whoever you're connecting with, they are your wish fulfillment. Um, I would say that the two of you have lived many, many lives with each other. Whatever it is that you want to talk about, it feels that like you're going to apply a patience with them. Could be dealing with Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. I feel like... Um, yeah, you see something needs to be said to perhaps honestly and truly calm this person down. But it also feels like you are going to be equally upset or they're going to it's like they're going to be upset and they're just going to like let it out on you. Not like let it out on you. It's like you're the person that they're going to get it off their chest. They'll speak to you about it and they'll be like, you know what? I'm really, really pissed off about this. 
really, really pissed off, almost like to the point where they're just like, you know, busting a, a blood cell in their neck or something. But you're with your patience, you're grounding. That's why they're saying to you, relax, relax and breathe it out. Just, and it feels like you'll nurture this. You'll nurture this person to just calm down. You will acknowledge how they're feeling, but it's like you don't want to say anything that's going to fuel them because, yeah, look at that, because you're equally flipping conflicted as well. Like you're spinning as well. Like, okay, fuck. But it feels like you're going to calm it down and then you're going to wait. You're being patient. You're almost going to be like, you know what? Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let me see. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? How does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. Yeah, look at that. You're feeling weak. You're feeling weak because you're conflicted. Whatever it is that's going on, that whatever news that you're going to get this week, um, it feels as if you you feel you feel this your person's anger basically, but you're going to hold it down, and and you feel really weak. It's like you're wondering, are are our ships going to come in? Could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. Let me continue. Whew. No wonder they were saying that you're going to have to have strength to relax and just let divine spirit universe take you that last leg. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the eight of cups. Somebody's walking away from something. Either you're walking away from feeling weak and conflicted or your person is going to walk away from the situation but yours it feels like you're saying no let's wait let's wait let's wait let me get some more cards for you scorpio because this feels a bit uh on a cliffhanger my angels and spirit guides of the thank you Okay, so this is swift communication, unexpected communication coming in. So the two of you are definitely connected. You guys have lived many lives together. We know that. We know that from the star card. And you're feeling really unbalanced. The six of cups. It almost feels as if your person is nostalgic over something. Like missing something. Oh, wow. There's a transformation and another bonus card, a serious conversation. So major transformation, either whatever is going on or whatever news is that's going to come is going to be a bit toxic. It's not going to be great. But there's a, there is a transformation coming. A serious conversation is going to be had or you are going to have a serious conversation, but you feel really, really unbalanced. You want to transform the situation. Let's um, clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify the um, outcome cards? Thank you. Okay, so I feel that whoever you are connecting with, um, with the, uh, okay, okay, this is not so bad because whatever this swift communication unexpected is, uh, this is financial recovery. So something, do you remember I said as if just by magic? It is going to turn around. So it almost feels as if this week, right, Scorpios, prepare yourself, okay? Because it feels like you're going to go for a bit of a roller coaster of emotions, all right? It feels like something is going to come in, some sort of communication that is going to delay something to do with your future. A situation that you have felt for a long time that you didn't fit anymore, you and your person, and it may require a move, okay? Uh, I feel as if... at as everything is like all okay, everything's kind of going, you're kind of relaxed, you're kind of where you need to be, um, then comes in some news that's going to turn something on its head, 
okay? Um, swift communication then is then going to come in and this is recovery. This is recovery. So it feels as if when this news initially comes in, uh, your person is going to feel very, very disconnected over whatever it is your situation is really disconnected, really, really hurt, really, really let down. Um, having to go almost looking on the outside, thinking if only this could have been. But then with it in reverse, this is recovery. So something just like magic is going to turn it around. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify? Please, can you clarify? How does this? Thank you. Yeah, I feel that uh, with the four of coins coming in reverse, it almost feels as if um, uh, your person just didn't want to let go. Whatever it is you guys are doing, whatever it is this situation is, that you are that you guys have outgrown or that you're moving away from or you're leveling up it feels as if um they now don't they don't trust the situation even though there's going to be an additional unexpected communication that's going to come in that is going to recover the situation they don't trust it they don't trust it let's continue thank you Okay, so with the so with the Queen of Swords coming in here, I almost feel as if it's your energy that's going to calm it down and almost cut off any kind of negativity. You're going to have a serious conversation uh, either with whoever's coming in with this swift communication. It could be your person or it could be somebody else, okay? But I feel as if you're cutting out any kind of negativity. You're trying to see the calm, you're trying to keep see the calm through whatever storm. Yes, you feel unbalanced. We're not even going to deny that. But you're just like, you're going to be really blunt, basically. Like, sort this shit out right now. Because that's a serious conversation. And with uh, you being very nurtured, very, it's almost like, Scorpio, you are going to keep your calm through the storm. And you're going to say some serious shit to somebody okay this is a serious conversation and with you with that sword out you ain't you ain't you ain't taking no prisoners it's like this shit needs to be sorted out now because too much money or too much work has gone into this with the seven of uh pentacles here the seven seven eight nine pentacles yeah this was um whatever it is that is going on this was to do with your future uh seven eight nine pentacles is to do with creating a uh financially secure comfortable environment for you yourself that's what's unbalanced that's what's at risk at the minute and you want it transformed or there is going to be transformation it's almost like do you know what there's been too much money that's put into this too much money that's been put into this i'm now waiting i don't care what you've got to do just fucking sort it out excuse my language and then here comes the transformation so it feels like you're going to walk away like walk away from any negativity that's what it is and you're just going to wait you're going to remain calm you're going to say your speak uh, peace in a very authoritarian way it's like you just need to sort this out but this feels like out this feels like a, a conversation it could be both of you that have a conversation but you're going to be the you're the one that's going to talk uh thank good for that there's your victory the sun card there's the victory there's the victory happiness abundance prosperity the transformation uh you guys you're yeah it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming i feel that you're going to walk away from any kind of negativity any kind of negativity you are just like no i'm going to deal with this in a very calm collective manner i'm going to speak my peace i'm going to have this serious conversation i'm going to tell these people they need to sort this out because too much money too much time too much nurturing has got into this 
Um, but deep down, you're feeling really unbalanced. You want this transformation and the transformation is coming. You could be dealing with the Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart or you could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. But you know what? That boat is coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. Victory, victory, victory. The sun is the most victorious card that you can have in tarot, Scorpio. So your victory, prosperity is going to come through. What did I say? This card here, as if by magic, out of all of the cards, this is the card. That card and the sun card and the love card is almost the thing that I want you to focus on because... It's really important that you know that Divine Spirit Universe is not going to forsake you at this time because there's too much love around you. Love for yourself, love that you and your person have for one another and universal love, Divine Spirit Universe, okay? The sun, victory, happiness, abundance, magic, as if just by magic, it's all going to turn around, and look at that. Oh, beautiful. Whatever conversation you and your person have with whoever you're going to get militant with, uh, guess what? Victory, six of wands, absolute victory. You know what? You and your person with the two reefs here uh, either may end up getting married or you are already married. Uh, you, you feel victory. And look at that. You're both walking forward into your future. That energy is facing. That energy is facing. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. And we've got the judgment card in reverse. Now, judgment normally um, represents um, reconciliation, okay, or a call to action to restore a situation. But with it coming in reverse, I almost feel as if, um, it almost feels as if, mm, uh, it's almost as if whatever, whatever it is, that was blocked or there's been some blockage is almost going to clear out. And the reason I say that is because the talks, whatever the delay is, is it's a delay. It's this over here, the judgment and the justice, some sort of blockage, some sort of delay, some sort of uh, stagnation or rejection or self-doubt or something uh, that's related because these cut two cards uh, is blockage it's almost kind of like something turning on its head but the talk is going to be victorious okay your person may even end up saying something it's like they may say something at the last minute that is going to turn something around but you definitely feel very, very, very unbalanced with the delay. But it feels like you're not going to say nothing because you don't want to fuel your person because your person's already angst as it goes already. But you know what? Trust the magic is as if just by magic. And your channeled message said you guys are going to be celebrating you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrating. Trust that. Trust that. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you um, tell me your advice? To Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus in love. I did say you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo. Oh, listen. It says, listen, the secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sound within the shells. And you know something? That's you, Scorpio. Whatever it is that's going to kick off this week, all right, uh, you are the one that is going to be uh, the one that's grounded, relaxed. And I feel that you're being guided, even though you want to rip just as much as your person does. It feels that you're going to level up in terms of you're just being like, do you know what? I don't care what's going on. You just need to do, do whatever you need to do. That's a serious conversation. And I feel as if um, you're being guided to listen, listen, listen before you react. Or maybe even tell your person, hey, hey like, hold on a minute. Listen, let's listen before we say anything. And then self-care. Drowning doesn't always require water. Yeah. Do you know something? Communication is going to be one of the key things that you're going to have to watch you and your person, um, Scorpio. 
that you don't say anything that you're going to regret. It's like things happen. Just know you are where you need to be, okay? It might be a bit slow, but you know what? Divine Spirit Universe are going to take you that extra leg. Oh my God, did I not say that it's going to take some strength in your channeled message? And look at what comes out. Stay afloat and feel steady and calm. Absolutely, that's exactly what I was picking up with your energy. You're the one that's going to be the strength, basically, to stay calm, to listen, okay, to make sure that, look at that, you know that something has to be said, but you don't want to fuel it. You don't want to fuel it because it's water doesn't just drown, you know, our words can cut and drown us as well. So it's almost like you, it's like, it almost feels as if Scorpio, you're going to be calming your person down. You're going to be holding down what you want to let rip and dealing with the situation and saying to whatever, whoever or whatever is coming in with this swift, communi unexpected communication, uh, you just need to sort it out. Please and thank you. Goodbye. And you'll listen to what they've got to say. But just remember, your person uh, might say something as well. So don't <laughs> muzzle them too much. But they might say something. Um, and I feel is there's something they're going to say in this conversation that is going to actually be a turning point. All right. All right. Wow. That was that was pretty deep and pretty heavy. All right. I'm going to leave it there for you, Scorpios. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, they're saying to me to pull another advice card. How odd. Okay. What's the advice, please? What's the additional advice? Thank you. Recharge. Okay. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. Do you know what? I feel as if they're just reiterating um, whatever is going to kick off um, this week, uh, 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 Scorpios. I feel that you're being guided basically to just remain grounded, remain grounded. Uh, remain very clear and concise on whatever it is you've got to say. Listen, okay? Um, and just dig out that strength within you. You've got it. You, you've, you've got this. You have got this. Um, but it does feel as if by magic something is going to turn around because that victory is going to... It's almost as if as quickly as the news comes in, then it's like... Phew! And then as quickly as the news gets turned around and your victory comes in. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. Uh, if it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.